<laughs> uh, okay, I got a request asking if I could read another weird but dirty fan fiction. So I picked a Team Fortress 2 one. It's called the most hottest Team Fortress 2 fan fiction. <laughs> okay. Guys, Scout called out. Guys, is anyone else going to help me capture this point? Unfortunately for Scout, however, all the rest of the red team was at the base defending their own. Whatever, I got this, he said with a smirk. Suddenly, Spy walked in. Sorry. The Spy was long-legged, longer than the usual legs on a Spy. He was like a daddy long leg. You know, those crazy spiders. Oh, wow. Okay. The brilliant blue sp Spy squinted one of his eyes at the scout and smiled, dropping the sig from his mouth. <laughs> it's like, it kind of reminds me of like Slender Man because Spy wears like a suit and everything. Scout was a bit scared. Hey, you spy, are you a spy? He waved his arms about it because he was so damn scared. <laughs> I mean, the red one's silly. Yeah, <laughs> Scout says silly. The spy squinted his other eye. Would you like to trade? Trade? The scout asked, what you got? The spy smiled. Why, only the best hat ever. Only at a few people in this world have acquired such a magnificent item. Turn around and I'll give, and I'll get it out. Okay. It was in a secret area. <laughs> or it's in a secret area. Dang, can't read. The scout thought for a moment. Eh, should I trust this guy? I do like good hats. Well, if he ends up killing me, you just respond, so why not? So Scout turned around. Scout heard an unzipping sound. <laughs> Viola, or uh, voila, you can turn around, Moinami. 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 Okay. Scout turned around, and lo and behold, he saw the biggest of <laughs> Oh, hats <laughs> he had ever seen. It stretched down to the floor. <laughs> it was so big. Scout wondered where the spy managed to store that, and then he realized with wretched horror. <laughs> now, Scout, smirked the sky. Spy. <laughs> I shall give you a hat made from my own seed, stored at the spy. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Spongebob when he made that sweater out of tears. <laughs> the scout was so surprised. He was so surprised that he had 100 motions in his body. It was ready to burst like a starburst. He loved starbursts. <laughs> he slowly walked over to the spy, eyebrows raised, ready. He's gonna do it! <laughs> He was never waiting for this moment because he never thought about this moment. He didn't know what to do, so he did the only thing he could do. He gave the spy a massage. <laughs> okay. On his shoulders. Wait, hang on. Okay, sorry. On his shoulders, his fingers rubbed and pressed into the spy's jacket. Oh lord, he yells and pulled it off. Rub it all into my skin, said the spy. <laughs> the scout rummaged through his knapsack and could only find one thing, his can of bonk that he had brought from the restock area. He opened it up, the can, and proceeded to pour them all over the spy's nipples. <laughs> like the sizzling sound. The ingredients from the box seemed to have some kind of strange effect as they suddenly became very erect. The, oh, oh, okay. Wow, okay. The, well, the way the... the I, I thought the ingredients just, like, congealed or something. I was like, ugh, okay. The scout couldn't keep himself from licking them off the spy's sticky chest. <laughs> Yuck. No, panted the sky. That's so dirty, he moaned. From around the corner, there was a dude. He was spying as... He was also a spy. Oh, of course. He was getting ready to backstab one of them. 
He was completely red, but he looked like a blue medic. Oh, he giggled and pulled out one of his enormous veiny sausage. <laughs> right in the butt. He ran over, holding... <laughs> Ready to jump into this goat's butt hole. <laughs> like, here I come. <laughs> Suddenly, a deep bellowing cry was heard. Nedig! <laughs> and around the corner came bellowing the heavy. With <laughs> Is everybody just like running towards them now? <laughs> Oh, holy cow. Okay, wait, the, the heavy was... No, wait, dang it, where am I? It, it, it was fully erect from running from a drunken naked demo, man. <laughs> the heavy was soon tackled and raped like no tomorrow. <laughs> no, not my heavy! <laughs> so the red spy simply struck and plunged right into... <laughs> Do it, Doc! Do it! Wait. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. So, I, hang on. I know what's going on. Okay, the spy began to do what he did, what he, or uh, what he knew best, and came and come from behind. Okay. Unlike the blue spy, red spy's dick was not so long. However, it was much fatter, similar to that of an elephant trunk. <laughs> Who's not going to take it any longer? And he plunged it. <laughs> so I'll take it to Scout's tiny mouth. Oh, the imagery. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay. All that Scout could smell was juicy, fresh man juices from spies. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Blue spies. Um, the penis was not as long, what, what, or no, it was so long that it curled up in Scout's mouth. What? <laughs> Both of... <laughs> okay, okay, here. I'm going to try to read, like, an actual, like, narrator, okay? Both of the cocks were thrusting into him, making him dance like he was at a dance party. Especially with the flailing arms. <laughs> boom, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Dang it, I can't do it. <laughs> whatever. He was ready for whatever would come from them. Their little sc <laughs> scrota. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know I was being so loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Time was running out. We only had two minutes left to get out of there. Who will win? Red or blue? <laughs> Suddenly, both red and blue shot into Scout at the same time, unleashing their forces into Scout. <laughs> With the trio done yet? I think not, proclaimed the blue sky. He reached... Spy! I keep saying sky in my bed. He reached into the Scout's bag and pulled out Scout's baseball bat, while both spies still had their... <laughs> Uh, yes. Inside Scout. They were going at round two. Oh, wow. Dang. Okay. I... Whatever. Uh, Spy positions his butthole right in front of Red Spy's butthole. Next, Blue Spy shoved Scout's bat baseball bat into his butt. <laughs> and shoved the other end into Red Spy's butthole. They started thrusting their butts in and out. <laughs> the baseball bat. Feeling their butts could touch each other. Once reaching the oh my goodness, dang. <clears throat> Scout couldn't take it anymore. He reached for his own and rubbed it ever so gently. The red spy was drooling all over the ground. <laughs> he was enjoying this way too much. And when he noticed Scout teasing one of the croissants, croissant, he was enjoying himself even more. Suddenly, the blue spy had a flashback to when he was a little French boy. <laughs>
and he was going to grow a mustache. His mother told him that it was impossible. She never gave him a chance. He would draw a mustache on his face every day before school. It was horrible. Also, his father really liked Apple Jacks, and Spy hated Apple Jacks. What? <laughs> Made no sense. The flashback was over, and he realized he was currently doing... Well, fuck this! <laughs> he stood up. <coughs> uh, Red Spy hanging from the bat as Tad was still in both their butts, and he walked back to the base. Along the way, he saw a demo man and Heavy doing at it. <laughs> Still, Demo Man had gotten so drunk that he had grown an extra, you know, what? <laughs> like too much testosterone. <coughs> so he was raping Heavy in the buds while molesting him in the mouth at the same time. So, oh my goodness. No, Heavy! Or a Demo Man. I, I'm a virgin. Don't take away my purity. He screamed Heavy. No! He's grown. Or shouted Demo Man. Now marry me. <laughs> okay, said so the heavy, and they did, and raised four beautiful children together. Oh, dang. Wow, that was quick. They were named after condiments. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. This was a very bad time for me to read. Well, whatever. After... Spy Blues Spy Okay, got home. He looked at his face in the mirror with a look of discontent. The spy maneuvered his mass <laughs> I thought everything was gonna be normal right here <laughs> in front of his and jizzed onto his upper lips to make a jizz mustache. Oh, what the heck? He stood back, placed his hands on his hips. And smiled at the mirror with a look of contentment. C'est magnifique, said the spy. And he walked off into the sunset with a skip to his hoop. Hmm. Okay. And the words, the end, written in the blue spy's jizzed, flashed across the screen. <laughs> oh, holy cow. <laughs> it took me 12 minutes to read this. Ah. <laughs> uh, I would read more of these, but I like to read things short, not like really long stuff or whatever. But I mean, you know, you you could send me fan fiction and, and I'll read it. I mean, I'll try to make parts if it's too long. But anyway, yeah, I I actually didn't think that the first fan fiction about Tom's the Tank Engine, I, I didn't think I was going to get a request to do more of these kind of readings mainly because all you're seeing is words and not like really a reaction but anyway um i i read the the most hottest team fortress 2 fan fiction <laughs> because i'm missy docs and for now that's all y'all